Hello everyone, my name is Terry. We are doing another Minecraft video. Today we're going to be talking about the very basics of Applied Energistics 2. Uh, this can be a little bit of a complicated bot, but it is super useful. So I want to go over the basics with you guys so you can get them started in your base. Eventually in this series, uh, we're going to be talking about some of the more complex systems like one over there. Uh, but for today, we're going to be starting on just the basics. So we'll get into it. And it should be fun. And by the end of it, you should be able to create a computer system that can store your items and sort of create power in, in a cohesive unit around your base. All right, so as we learn to use this ME controller, we're really going to primarily talk about four different things that are incredibly useful and the early game setup of MC Eternal or other various mod packs that'll use applied energistics. The first is smart cable or regular cable, dense cable, or you know the, this smaller cable. They, they both work the same way. One just has more channels. The second is the ME controller. This is sort of like the heart of the computer. The third is a crafting terminal. It's incredibly powerful. And finally, the storage, which when used in conjunction with the crafting terminal, is just, you know, a, a mind-blowingly useful thing to, to set up in your base. So we're going to start with how all of this works. So first of all, when you apply power to a computer system in... Applied Energistics, it lights up like this. When you attach cables to said computer system in Applied Energistics, it allows the face of that computer to have an interaction with something further away, whether that's an automation system, a storage system, an interface system with a, you know, being able to craft or, or whatever it is, the cables allow you to do that at some distance away. It doesn't really matter how large the distance is as long as it's rendered in. One interesting note here is that if you connect a cable uh, like so, it will create this interesting connection that's not really all that useful. We don't want information to to seep over and, and take up two faces with what could be done with one. And the way that they get around doing that in this mod pack is to give us different colors of cables so that they don't automatically connect. And that way we can really utilize all the different sides of an ME controller. The third thing that we're going to talk about are these... Um, this is the, the interface terminal, interface crafting terminal. Uh, this is incredibly useful. It'll let you use anything that is on the network of the ME controller and use that to create a craft that you can then pull in and out of your inventory. So, you know, there's no storage in our system right now, so we can't put anything in or out of the in and out of the system. But what we can do is still use this crafting table like we regularly would. But the real power of this system comes when we connect that crafting table to a storage system. So when I put storage through this ME drive onto our computer and then look at our crafting system, then we can store things in here and you know whatever it is that you want to craft, as long as you have the materials on your computer network, you're able to pull them out and place them into the crafting, whether you're connected at a terminal right next to the storage or at a terminal all the way across your base. And that's incredibly powerful and incredibly useful. So we're gonna talk about some of the potentially two early base setups that you can do with a single ME controller or four ME controllers. And these should get you through most of the early game into the mid game, you know, even you know, with the second one potentially into the late game. In a later series, we'll talk about some of the more advanced things, a, a, a P2P network and, and things of that nature. But right now we're just going to set up an early game organized 
ME controller computer and talk about how we can do that with storage and, and things of that nature. So let's get to it. We're going to hop right on over here. I'm going to build this up and we're going to pretend that we have a, you know, we have a power supply that's coming in. I would strongly recommend um, setting that up prior to a computer system. If you're playing on MC Eternal or one of the larger mod packs, the mechanism generator advanced solar generators are some of my favorite to make. They're really powerful for how early you can get them in the game, and they can easily power an early game system. So if we have power coming into this face, that means we have five other faces that we are permitted to use on our ME computer. And what we can do with that is pull off 160 different bits of information using various channels. So let's say, for instance, that I have a blue smart cable coming off here. I don't want to pull two blue cables this way because as you can see, they, they connect like that. And, and we don't want that. If we do that, then you know, the information is going to travel between them and you're going to want to wind up with one of these overloaded and one of them not working at all. So it just doesn't work. But if we layer our cables, so I have a magenta running next to our blue, the blue no longer connects to the magenta. I can put them next to each other and pull those off to different sections of the base. So if we further extrapolate that out and use three different ones, so I'm going to type in smart here. I'm going to just pull down a different than smart cable. If I'm using this yellow smart cable, ooh, that's, that's pretty heinous. Um, <laughs> if I'm using this yellow smart cable, we'll notice that it does not also connect out and attach to our blue cable. And we're going to use these same three ones for the three different sides. So if I could pull that, that magenta out there, I can pull the scion further out over there. And then, um, you know, we can use cyan again on this side. Cyan, cyan on this side. So right now, we have five faces of this cube, each pulling off 32 channels. So that means we can get 160 bits of information away from this computer core. And what you're going to be using that primarily with early is a tiny amount of auto automation, but primarily storage. So if you're like me, the first thing I wanted to do when I started this was to make like a server farm or something like that. So I, I went out and I lined up like a hundred of these ME drives, and then I realized that I had no way to, to handle how to use them. I, I had no clue what I was doing, so I had to, so I had to go and, and really learn... Uh, what I was doing. So I'm going to connect all these drives up and we will understand the power of this system. So right now, off this blue smart cable, I've got 10 ME drives. And it tells me, that's why I really like the smart, it tells you how many channels we've used. I use, I've used 10 of these channels to power these ME drives. And I can, you know, stick a storage shell in there. So let's say 64K or not, 64K, there we go. If I pull this 64K storage cell right here, I can stick it right in this drive. And you know, if you, as you go, you can fill up these drives and these will give you the storage that you want in your system. There's gas fluid and regular storage. For right now, we're primarily going to be using regular storage. So the smart, the dense smart cable allows us to pull 32 channels off. So we can create, you know, on the blue, we're doing all storage. You can have, you know, 64 channels of storage, which should be more than enough to get you well into the mid game, all from one cube. And then you can do automation on, on the yellow and the purple. Um, setup. So, so this this setup is really functional for how early it is, and it's also, you know, honestly, way more than you need early on. 
If you would like to then create an interface to this, it's pretty simple. All you do is you come and create a glass cable. So I have a cyan cyan cable there. So I'm just going to pull a cyan glass cable off here. And if I pull it off here, I can put a terminal on here. And we can get into our storage system. So if I wanted to put some material into our storage system and we come, thank you weather. <laughs> I'll reset the time while I'm doing that. Um, if we come over here to our to our storage, we can see that there is one bit of information stored. Um, there's one type, and anytime we have a terminal anywhere at our base, we can pull that off. And what I mean by that is, even if I pull this section down here, you know, I'm all the way on the other side of the base. Let's pretend I'm all the way on the other side of the base. I can connect here. And I still have access to those information that's stored all the way on the other side of the base. So this is an incredibly powerful system. Uh, but just know that each one of these terminals does count as a use of a channel. Uh, it's totally reasonable, but just, just keep that in mind. Um, sometimes it can come back and snag you. So now I'm going to talk about how to build the second type here. This is a little bit more complicated. Um, but you have the power running into four different ME blocks, ME controllers here. So if we have four of them long, uh, this is still a valid computer setup. It has to fit within a seven by seven square. Uh, and obviously we, this fits within that seven by seven square. So what we can do with that setup where we have four different cables here is as long as we layer our cables here, as long as we layer our cables differently and we don't double up like that, we can actually control where these things match up on this computer. And that will give us an actual absurd amount of, of ports and things that we can pull off of each computer. So. If we have one that we assume is for power, I'll go ahead and set that up. If we're assuming that we're pulling power off of our computer here, that means we have 4, 8, 12, 16, 17 different faces. Each one of those faces, the 17, those 32 channels, if we use all 17 faces in, in all different smart cables, those 32 channels on the 17 faces are going to give us over 500, 544 different setups. And that is going to power us well into the late games. You honestly don't need a system more complex than this, um, but I will go over how to make a more complex one in a later video. Um, but for right now, these two setups should be enough to get you started on your own system and really start utilizing the power of applied energistics. If you have any questions on the very basics of applied energistics, you can let me know down in the comments below, or you can join our Discord. We have lots of avid Minecraft players in there. Be sure to check out our Twitch. We stream on there a ton. We are a five-person company, so you may not see me on that Twitch, but you may you will see one of our one of our company members on that Twitch. As always, I hope this has been helpful. I hope that, it, that you like these these Minecraft guides. Let me know down in the comments if you, if you want to see more of them or something like that. And as always, like, comment, subscribe. All that jazz, it really does help us out. And hopefully we'll see you next week.